Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the medical techs by your tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about CSF cell count. You'll be able to do this test confidently after watching this video. What is CSF? Cerebrospinal fluid. CSF is a colorless clear body fluid found in the tissue that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord of all vertebrae. CSF is produced by specialized ependymal cells in the choroid plexus of the ventricles of the brain and absorbed in the arachnoid granulations. There is about 120 ml of CSF at any one time and about 500 ml is generated every day. What are the functions of CSF? The net weight of the brain suspended in CSF that allows the brain to maintain its density with without being impaired by its own weight. CSF protects brain tissue from injury by providing a fluid buffer that acts as a shock absorber during mechanical injury to the skull. CSF decreases total intracranial pressure and facilitates blood perfusion. CSF allows for the hemostatic regulation of the distribution of substances between cells in the brain. CSF allows for the removal of waste products from the brain and is critical in the brain lymphatic system. Collection of CSF. Lumbar puncture is carried out under sterile conditions by inserting a needle into the subarachnoid space usually between the third and the fourth lumbar vertebrae. What are the lab tests done in the hematology lab? The appearance, the color. The CSF is normally colorless like a water. If red blood cells are present, the color may change from pink to red according to the number of RBCs and the percentage of lysed RBCs. Xanthochromia, pale yellow color CSF is seen in increased bilirubin due to conversion of lysed RBCs in subarachnoid hemorrhage conditions. Turbidity, normally CSF is clear it may become turbid when blood cells are present in increased numbers or bacteria or other microorganisms. CSF is a stat sample. The processing should be started immediately as the cells in the sample can degenerate or the RBCs can lyse. The bacterial viability decrease when there is a delay in process. Care should be taken to process the sample as the procedure cannot be repeated easily. The number of cells in the CSF is counted using new bar counting chamber. It is a thick crystal slide with the size of a glass slide 30 into 70 mm and 4 mm thickness. The counting grid has been set on the glass and double chambers, the two counting areas that can be loaded independently. The glass cover. The glass cover is a squared glass of width 22 mm. The glass cover is placed on the top of the new bar counting chamber covering the central area. The chamber is designed so that the distance between the bottom of the chamber and the cover is 0.1 mm. The glass cover may be slightly lifted when extra sample is introduced and the depth increases that makes error in the calculation. Most of the new bar counting chambers used in the lab are 0.1 mm depth but counting chambers are available with different depth please make sure the depth is 0.1 when you order a new counting chamber for your lab calculation differs according to the depth of the counting chamber the disposable counting chambers are also available nowadays to minimize the infection from the sample cover glasses used for counting chambers are different from other regular glasses used for urine wet mount and used for mounting the slides. Never use those thin cover slips that can give error in calculation. Keep ready of the counting chamber cover slip and the capillary tube. Check the counting chamber with the cover slip placed under the microscope for any dirt or oil. Sometimes the oil present in the oil immersion can drop on the cover slip and make it difficult to do the cell count. The dirty or the oily counting chambers or the cover slip can be cleaned using soap water and rinsed in water. Clean the counting chamber and the cover slip with 
lens paper. Mix the CSF sample gently and using a capillary hematocrit tube both side open type to charge the counting chamber. The sample is drawn to the depth between the counting chamber and the cover slip by gravity and capillary action. Never use micro pipette or faster pipette as this can charge increased volume of sample. The sample should be covered the entire area. The cover slip should not float or off charged. This can give error in counting. After charging the chamber with the sample, keep it in a petri dish containing wet cotton ball or wet tissue paper. This allows the cells to settle. Wet cotton avoids drying of the sample. After 2 to 5 minutes, we can place it in the microscope stage and focus under 10x then 40x dry objectives. The RBCs are identified by their pale yellow color and shining with the fine adjustment. The granulocytes are easy to differentiate from RBCs as they are larger and colorless or gray color and having granules. Many techs have an issue in differentiating lymphocytes from RBCs because both are in same size. The color and the shining appearance can be key to identify the RBCs. A pinch of toledin blue stain can stain the WBCs to differentiate. Count the RBCs and WBCs separately. If few cells are present, count all 9 squares and count any one more square to make it 10 squares. This makes the calculation easy. If many WBCs are present, the sample can be diluted 1 in 10 or 1 in 20 according to the cells present in the sample. The calculations are made with the dilution factors. Count the RBCs, report the crenated RBCs in percentage as this can give a diagnostic value. Calculations. Number of cells are counted by multiplying with depth factor and the dilution factor divided by the area counted. Here undiluted sample is counted for 10 squares. So the calculation is number of cells counted in 10 squares and the dilution is 1 because it is not diluted and multiply by the depth factor that is 10 divided by the area. Here we use 10 square millimeter so the area is 10 square millimeter. So the cell count is number of cells counted in 10 squares millimeter. It is easy to remember and calculate. Now the final calculation will be number of cells counted that is the value for cells in square millimeters. If you see many RBCs without any space between them then you need to dilute the sample with WBC counting fluid that contains glacial acetic acid that lies the RBCs and the WBCs are counted easily. If you are making 1 in 10 dilution with the diluting fluid and the counting 1 WBC square, the calculation is number of cells counted multiplied by depth that is 10 by multiply by dilution factor that is again 10 and divided by the area counted that is 1. So the calculation is number of cells counted multiplied by 100. Differential count in CSF sample. Normal CSF contains less than 5 cells per cubic millimeter and predominantly lymphocytes. When the cell count is more than 5, then we need to do the differential count. Centrifuge the sample at low speed below 1000 rpm for 2 to 3 minutes, then make a smear from the deposit. Increased speed and the time can damage the cell morphology. Make a smear from the sediment, stain it with any Romanowski stain and report the differential count. If cytospin centrifuge system is available, those smears can be used for low count samples. While counting, follow the L rule to avoid duplication of cell count. Always count the cells on the left side of the line and the bottom of the line for the cell for each square so that same cell is not counted on both squares. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share and like. Thank you.